Good morning everyone. After a long break, I am back with a story. The title of the story is The Golden Touch. Once upon a time, in a very big kingdom, there lived a king named Midas. She was so rich that she usually went into his dungeon and counted his gold. His wife always thought that it is just a waste of time. One day, her, his wife said to him that, What are you doing with it? It is just a simple waste. It cannot buy all the happiness to us. But the king answered, It can buy me all the happiness. Every day, the love for good grew. In King Midas' heart. One day, his soldiers found a man walking on the street. He had no shoes. He was wearing simple clothes. And she said that he has no place to stay. Then King Midas said, You might be from a far off land. You can be my guest till we find his address. So, the man stayed with the king and he got everything that he asked for. Then they found his address. He had to go. He went. The truth was that man was a fr dear friend of the forest god. One day the king was counting his gold in the dungeon suddenly. A bright shine shone. The ki King Midas was at first afraid. Oh! Then she came, he became normal and said, that, Who are you? Are you here to rob my gold? King, the god of the forest, answered, Ha ha ha! What can the gold do for me? That man was a dear friend of mine. So, I'm here to get your any wish. Just ask. King Midas couldn't believe his ears. He said at first, I want a ship full of gold. No. I want a house full of gold. No. Even that's not enough. Wait. I know what could make me happy. Give me the golden touch. The god of the forest came and said, But remember king, gold cannot buy all the happiness. And the god of the forest disappeared. The, after that the king laughed. Ha, 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 how could him find the value of gold? She couldn't sleep that night waiting for the morning to come. And the morning did come. Then she started to think how comfortable it would be to sleep on a golden bed. And bed was turned into pure gold. Then after that she went and touched everything in the palace. Even the trees, the, the shrubs, the flowers. She turned it to pure gold. Then she said to himself, to, uh, Now I am hungry. I should go and eat before I show my power to my kingdom. As he went to eat, when he touched the glass of water, the water changed into pure gold. He could not drink it. Then he was curious and afraid. He touched everything in the table that turned into pure gold and was of no use. He was sadly sitting and thinking in his mind. What can I do with food made of gold? I cannot eat it. I cannot drink water made of gold. As he was thinking, her, his daughter ran from the garden to her. Father! That by mistake, King Midas touched him, touched her and became a very 
beautiful golden statue. Beautiful, but not alive. The doll's name was Marigold. The king cried, Oh, my beloved daughter, Marigold. She ran to the dungeon and cried for help. The god of the forest came back and said, What happened, king? It has only been a few hours after your boom. Do you need another boom? The king answered, No, my real boom was my daughter. Now I don't have her. So please give me my daughter. Take away everything. Take away all my gold. But please give me back my daughter. Then the god of the forest answered, Now you know the true value of love. The money that is with you withers away, but the love that is with you and around you, it never withers. It never dies. So, after that, the god of the forest gave him a cup of water and said, Sprinkle a few drops and everything that has changed into pure gold, and it will traverse the effect of your touch. The king by his ran to his daughter, sprinkled it, and here his daughter came back to life. His father said, the daughter said, What happened this time? What? What did happen? The king said, Nothing, my daughter. I said, Everything right. He went into the palaces, made everything into dream, into his normal place. Even the bed he changed into normal. She was so bored of the shining that he longed for the roughness of the wood. At the first time, he saw the beauty of the flowers and the shrubs. And after that, he, his wife and his daughter went to eat. She had never eaten such a delicious food. He drank, drank cups of water. He drank cups of water, even tanks of water, because he was so thirsty. And he was the richest and the happiest man on earth. The moral from the story is that we should not be greedy. Greediness makes us lose everything that we have. We should be happy with even the smallest things that we have. Thank you all. Thank for listening to my speeches. If you see anything wrong in my video, you can feel free and don't be scared to write all the correct comments in the comment box. Thank you all. Bye. And please like my video. If you like it, please share to everyone around. Thank you. Bye.